I'm tired. And I don't want to lose one of my children to fight this war. I'm not willing to sacrifice the life of one of my children for Baltimore City. We are continuing to follow the breaking news. Just a devastating day in Baltimore. A 16-year-old dead, seven other people shot. Five of the victims are students from Edmondson Westside High School. All of them were shot across the street from the Edmond Edmondson Village Shopping Center. Good evening, I'm Kai Jackson. And I'm Mary Bubala. We have team coverage on a city in crisis, starting with Rebecca Pryor. She spoke with West Baltimore residents crying out for change amid another deadly shooting in their district. Rebecca. Yeah, emotions were certainly running high today, Mary. As students were fleeing the high school, parents, they were rushing to the scene, worried it might have been one of their children who was shot here. It was so traumatic, one mother even telling me she plans on moving her family out of Baltimore immediately. We heard the gunshots, and my son just bust out crying, saying, Mommy, Mommy, they shooting. Did, did Manny go to school? Nicole Robinson rushing toward the sounds of gunfire, fearing her son, a student at Edmondson High School, might have been shot. That's when I then said, oh my God, my son is safe, but somebody else's son is not. In the middle of the day, a group of students taking their lunch break off campus. A problem police say has been ongoing. Businesses inside the Edmondson Village Shopping Center all told not to serve minors during school hours for this very reason. Those young people wouldn't be here if they knew they couldn't buy something from this place. There's no acceptable amount of violence in our city but it hurts when it's kids. Evidence markers littering the ground after that lunch break quickly turning tragic. Five teens shot, one of them dead, another in critical condition. It's unclear what led up to the violence. One witness telling us he thought the teens were playing a game. It looked like they was all on dice. The next thing he knew, shots were being sprayed. It sounded like it was like a Uzi going off or something like that. At the scene, tensions growing amid a lack of answers from city leaders. District 8 Councilman Christopher Burnett caught in a screaming match with one of his constituents. Our children is dying. Sir, what you doing about it? Y'all sitting what in you office. Doing about it? About and what are you doing about it? This is a passionate situation. All they did was left out of their house this morning to attend school and they're not going to return home. Not wanting her children to face the same fate, Robinson now among those reaching a breaking point with the bloodshed in Baltimore. I'm leaving. I'm not willing to sacrifice the life of one of my children for Baltimore City. Police say they're still searching for two suspects. Anyone with any information is asked to call them. And if you'd like to remain anonymous, you can always call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in West Baltimore, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News.